here we have an iPhone 3G with a cracked touch screen. You can see that the touch screen is still responsive and the LCD screen still works. First, turn the iPhone off. The next step is to take the two screws out found at the bottom of the iPhone. Next, you have to lift the screen from the chrome bezel. This is a bit tricky. You have to get your little tool that you can purchase from our website between the chrome bezel and the glass and lift it up. And the whole thing just lifts out. The screen is usually attached by three cables. You can see this one has popped off already, numbered one, two, and three is underneath. To lift off the one, you just pop it off. Number two, you just pop it off as well. You can use the special tool. And then number three is underneath. You just have to lift the white tab and then it should slide out. Next, you have to take two screws off from one side and three screws from the other side. And there's one more screw just here. So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six very tiny screws and two slightly bigger screws. Next, you have to be carefully lift the LCD mount from the touch screen. Be very careful here because you don't want any pressure on the, on the LCD otherwise you'll crack the LCD and then you'll have to replace the LCD as well. Next, you have to take the touch screen off the touch screen mount. For this you will need a hair dryer. Before you use the hair dryer, make sure you put the screws somewhere well out of the way, otherwise you're going to end up blurring your screws all over the floor. So take your hair dryer, put it on the hottest setting you can get it on. Heat it up as hot as you can get it. If you can't get it that hot, it doesn't matter. It's just the hotter it is, the easier it makes the next step. Next, you want to pry the glass away from the plastic frame. So this is the old digitizer. You can throw that in the bin. And you may have some bits of glass still stuck to the plastic frame. Use a flathead screwdriver to carefully peel any adhesive left behind and any glass of the plastic frame.
and make sure you get all the remaining adhesive off the plastic frame. You can just scrape it off with your flathead screwdriver. Once you have a clean plastic frame, take the special replacement adhesives that you can purchase these with your replacement touch screen and carefully place it onto the plastic frame. These ones, before you take the sticker off, pull out all the cutouts from the plastic from the adhesive. So then you have adhesive that looks like this. Take your new frame Peel the protective layer off the back So three of them Now you want to the paper from the adhesive this can be tricky. You want to reveal this, take the paper off, leave the double sided adhesive on the frame. So once you've got the adhesive, the paper taken off the adhesive. Take your new touch screen, make sure the cable goes underneath the frame. So, if you look at it from this angle, the cable goes underneath the frame, not on top of the frame like this. So, underneath the frame, get it in position. and press it down and yet now have your new touch screen attach the plastic frame and you just have to put it back together so there's a protective layer in this you can take this protective layer off now now at this stage if your LCD was broken you can replace the LCD screen as well this is quite easy just take the LCD assembly and the flathead screwdriver and very gently pry the LCD away from the LCD assembly. It's just stuck on there with some adhesive. And you would take your new LCD, peel off the protective label off the back. It comes with adhesive already attached and there are two little pegs, one here and one here and they align with the LCD assembly here and here. And align the holes. The cable goes towards the end with this little imprint on. And it just sticks into place and then once again take off the protective coating and your new LCD assembly 
is ready to be put back in as well. Then take your touch screen assembly and your new LCD assembly and put them back together. Be careful not to touch the LCD otherwise you'll have fingerprints on it. Get your little tiny screws and goes here. Take the body of the iPhone and now put it back together. Number three goes first. Make sure the little white tab is lifted up. Slide it back in. And then clip the white tab down to lock it in. Number two. Just line it up. Push it down. Number three, line it up, push it down, you'll feel it click in. There's a little tab here, just make sure you tuck it out of the way as you put the, fold the screen away. This end goes in first, otherwise it doesn't sit properly. Push everything back together. Now at this stage, you can turn it on, make sure everything works. You can put the two larger screws back. And your iPhone 3G or 3GS is looking like new again. Now the steps for an iPhone 3GS are almost identical. You just have to make sure you use iPhone 3GS parts on an iPhone 3G. Alright, all finished.